Let me walk you through step-by-step -step tutorial of Leonardo AI and show you how to easily create visually engaging images. Thanks to its amazing user-friendliness, Leonardo AI, an online platform for stable diffusion, is quickly becoming a powerful competitor of the mid-journey. Leonardo AI is notable for being accessible for free and offering an important daily token allocation of 150, which is more than enough. Compared to mid-journey, which has a $10 monthly fee, just visit their website and then click on Launch App. Next, sign into Leonardo with your Google account. The first you will encounter are the Leonardo tools highlighted ones up on top. If you click on Fine Tune, you will see different models. C. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Stable Diffusion, a model is just a data set that has been trained with a specific type of image. For instance, you can opt for the 3D animation style model, which is designed for crafting three-dimensional cinematic scenes with vibrant colors. If you're not sure about the capabilities of a model, simply click on it and it will display a selection of examples created using that specific model. This should help you get a general idea of the kinds of photographs you can expect. Click on any image to learn more about the work that went into creating it. This will display information on the prompts they used, along with any negative ones they ran into. Next, the Community Feed section offers a more detailed view of the community model that is presented on the main page. In addition, Personal Feed contains the photographs that you have made. The section on Training and Datasets, which explores more complex ideas, comes next. In Fine Tune category, you will find the difference between community models, models created by other people, and platform models, which Leonardo has created and arranged for your convenience. To initiate the process of creating your own image, simply click on AI Image Generation. On this screen, you will notice a text field where you can input your prompt. Just below that, you have the option to select a model. And if you want to look at different models, click Select Custom Model. You can also include a negative prompt to indicate what you would like removed from your image. To instruct Stable Diffusion to give that prompt priority, you can also use a bracket. This is particularly useful if you notice deformities like extra body parts or odd features in your generated images. You will see tabs for image generation and prompt generation as you scroll down. With the help of this tool, you can create more complex, interesting thoughts from a basic beginning. When you input horse and click ID it, for example, the tool will produce some more concepts that incorporate your prompt. You can select how many photographs to obtain from a prompt on the left. Then you have photo reel. When enabled, it generates hyper-realistic photos and lifelike portraits. But alchemy must be enabled for it to work. Below that, you have prompt magic. In short, this feature ensures better prompt influence. This also holds true for alchemy. When turned on, it improves the quality of the image by increasing contrast and introducing finer details. You'll find the image dimension modifications as you scroll down. This is where you may fine-tune your image's proportions. Leonardo recommends using 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels. The guiding scale is located further down. If you opt for a lower number on the slider, the resulting image will bear less resemblance to the content of your prompt. I would recommend using a figure of about 7 or 8 for best results. The Image to Picture option is located underneath this and allows you to submit an image to use as a guide while creating the image you want. Comparing Leonardo's dashboard to other stable diffusion-based image generating tools, I think it is easier to use and more visually straightforward. Let's go back now by clicking this arrow button, which will return us to the home we were previously in. We will now move our attention to a canvas. An already existing image can be expanded upon. Let's focus on enlarging the example image we created. Here, the basic idea is to have a box placed so that half of it is outside the image and the other half is contained inside. This is important to provide Leonardo a point of reference so that he gets your goals straight below. In box, we will provide a prompt of the elements we wish to add in addition to the existing image dimensions. After that, you can choose the one that most closely fits your artistic concept. In conclusion, I will be covering training and data set, as well as texture generation, in separate videos. As this video has become quite lengthy, I want to ensure such interesting topics get the in-depth attention they deserve. If you learned something from this video, you should subscribe our channel and I appreciate you viewing.